वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास नाइन स्टूडेंट्स यू मस्ट बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर हाफ इयरली एग्जामिनेशन यू आर डूइंग द रिविजन वर्क आई होप इज इट ट्रू मोर ओवर यू हैव चांस टू आस्क योर डाउट्स इन ऑनलाइन क्लासेज ऑल्सो सो डोंट लीव एनी चांस to ask your teacher about your confusion about your doubts okay i am here today with the lesson the happy prince written by oscar wilde oscar wilde was born on 16th october 1854 in dublin he was an irish playwright novelist essayist and poet his reputation rests on his only novel the picture of dorian gray which was written in 1891 and his comic masterpieces lady windermere's fan in 1892 and the importance of being earnest in 1895 were also very popular he is remembered for his epigrams novels and plays here you are going to read about his very important fiction the happy prince it's a very popular fiction of oscar wilde the happy prince you should know the theme also So what is the theme of the happy prince The theme is the compassion of the statue for other people and the bird depicts great sensitive feelings This is a story of a prince who was uh, in his lifetime did not uh, take much care of his people means he did not know what was miseries or what were miseries because he never came out of his palace so he did not know the suffering of the people after his death when a statue was made of the king and he looked upon his town he found that people were suffering a lot and he was very much grieved very much pained to see the sufferings of his own people so the theme goes in this manner the compassion of the statue for other people and the bird depicts great sensitive feelings the prince gives away everything to help people and the and the swallow and prince also share a fantastic love bond next our uh, theme is the sacrifice first theme is the love between the bird and the statue among the people and the prince okay next is the sacrifice which the prince uh, presented here also the bird oh, presented the sacrifice here while the prince gives away his ruby eyes and gold leaves the little swallow sacrifices its life to serve humanity the bird did not reach egypt to meet its companions instead stayed with the prince in harsh cold weather and at last died at the feet of the statue so this is the sacrifice of the bird why the bird did not go to it its companion to meet in the egypt why did it not go to egypt to meet its companion so this shows the sacrifice of a simple creature that is the bird and the message is outward beauty is nothing outward beauty is nothing beauty lies within and that is very important that is the 
purity that is the pure soul the beauty which lies inside okay also love and sacrifices are real beauties what are real beauties love and sacrifices so here also you remember the proverb appearances are deceptive what does it mean one should not attract by the appearance of any person we do not know whether the person who looks wonderful has a beautiful soul or not has a beautiful sense sensitive life or not we cannot ensure that means beauty lies within the one who has love and compassion for others is the real person possesses the real beauty of life so what is the message the message is that outward beauty is nothing beauty lies within the person so these uh, uh, messages you have to understand and also remember the important quote appearances are deceptive one should not moved one should not be moved by the appearances of any person 